So to start our practice today, go ahead and take any comfortable seat. You can lie down on your back or you can sit in Sukhasana or you could take a child's pose. Whatever helps you ground down and start taking on that meditative mindset, preparing to um, enter into the practice of yoga. So really drawing yourself into that present moment and settling in, starting to relax the body and to activate the body just by drawing your attention into your arms, into your core, into your legs, and of course, into your breath. And today we're gonna to do a 75 minute flow. Uh, we're gonna do a, a fun warm up that's part of another program, um, which I'll talk a bit more about the, at, at the end. But the theme of this program is awakening. So in this warm up, we're gonna do some movements to really awaken to springtime, into this season of, of, of natural, natural growth. And so we're gonna draw our, draw our focus there. And then we'll do the Dharma Mitra Sun Salutations, really dropping into that. Um, automatic flow that that you don't where you don't have to think about it you can just move through it and then we're going to go into a deeper series that continues to build upon itself as we progress through it um, and that series is super super fun I love it excited to share it with you guys we'll do some um, arm balances along the way for y'all as well so with that out the way if anybody has any uh, injuries or other issues like that do drop that in the chat for me. Um, otherwise, definitely listen to your body. And take a few breaths here in stillness, just noticing what you hear, the sound of my voice, perhaps the music, perhaps the, the stillness or the sound of nature. Noticing the sensations in the body and take a moment to just check in with yourself with what you're feeling in your body or in your mind today, this morning, in this moment, and just give that some space. Notice what is it that that aspect of yourself is needing, is wanting from you, and just allow that some attention and breathe into that. And then with your exhale, begin to let that go. Breathing into this moment. And then exhaling, softening, letting it go. Let's take another one like that. Breathing in. And exhale, letting it go. Just one more. Breathing into the present moment. Whatever it is, exhale, let it go. And now go ahead and rock onto your back bringing the knees into the chest. And just begin taking some rocks here. You can rock a bit side to side, maybe you do some circles with the knees. And then you rock from shoulder to tailbone, using the core, using the legs, activating the spine, feeling that sense of movement. Just tuning into the body in an easy, playful way. And then let's take one more rock and we're gonna rock through seated to tabletop. And from tabletop, take some circular motions, whatever that looks like for you. The hips can come side to side, back and forth. What feels good for your body here today? Then coming to neutral, spread your fingers wide. And let's take some cat cows. Inhale, dropping the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, tucking the tailbone and the chin. Inhale, pulling the heart forward. Exhale, wrapping the shoulders around in front. Inhale, reversing that. Take a couple more, alternating the crescent shape of the spine. Tuning into your body, <clears throat> releasing any stagnant energies, any places that feel a little bit sticky or stuff. You can slow down there, take a bit more time there. 
making this your practice today. And then press your hips back to your heels. Take one breath in child's pose. Always welcome to return here at any time. And then shift forward into a cobra pose. <clears throat> Tuck your toes, find a down dog. Raise the right knee with an inhale. Exhale, bring it to your nose. Inhale, send your right foot up and high, bend the knee, stack the hip and then step it through, you can lower the back knee, raise the arms up for exalted low lunge, and then lean back a bit, let your arms come down. We're gonna tilt the head forward, charge forward, shift your hips forward, inhale the arms up, and exhale back. Inhale, sweeping forward and up. Exhaling back and down. Inhale, sweep forward and up. Exhale back, tuck your back toe, sweep forward, rise into high crescent lunge. Exalted lunge here, inhale, exhale, lean forward 45 degrees, sweep your arms back behind you. Inhale up, nice breath work in the morning, exhale, lean forward, fully in, and out. And this time, when you inhale, you're going to shift your weight forward to standing and come to tree pose. Take your back foot into your thigh. Take the hands to the heart. And in the style of awakening, grow your branches, stand tall, extend through the fingertips. Let's do that again. Let's bring the hands into the heart. Maybe hunch forward a bit, inhale. And then reach the arms up, stand up nice and straight, awakening, extending through the shoulders and the arms. And then let's take a bit of a dancey tree. We'll take our tree in the beginning of practice today. So flow with it. Whatever movements that your tree wants to take to dance, go for it. And then let's lower that down, shake it out. Shake the wrists. Bop the heels, <clears throat> and then come to standing. We'll inhale the arms up, and we'll exhale forward fold, hips back. Take a halfway lift, plant your hands, step back. Let's uh, lower all the way down, and then peel the heart up, shine the heart forward. Press back to a down dog. Let's do the other side. So take that left foot up and back, and then bring the knee to the nose. Inhale for a three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hips, and then step it on through, lowering the back knee and raising the arms for exalted low lunge. Lowering the arms as you lean back. Lean forward, inhale, shift your hips forward, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hips back, hands down. Inhale, charges the head forward. Sweep the arms and the gaze up. Exhale, back. Breathing in. And out. And sweeping up. Now tuck your back toes. And this time, when you inhale, sweep up. Raise the back knee. High lunge. Crescent warrior. Tune into that crescent warrior energy. Inhale, and with the exhale, sweep the arms back, extend through the crown of your head, inhaling up, and exhaling to lean and sweep. Moving with the breath, inhale up, and exhale, sweep. Inhale up, and exhale. And this time when you inhale, shift to stand on your front foot, come to tree pose. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. And then take your hands out in a Gyan Mudra with your thumb and pointer finger together, your three other fingers extended on either side. Take some micro adjustments, get real still and stable here. And just like in the silence and the stillness, 
of winter before springtime, get real still, and then I invite you to, for three seconds, close the eyes. And then awaken and grow your branches. And if you want to take a dancing tree on this side, go for it. And then we can lower the foot down. Coming to the top of the mat. Let the shoulders stack above the hips, above the heels. Drawing the navel in, knitting the ribs together, broadening the collar, and bring an intention to mind for your practice today. What brought you to yoga? What keeps you coming back to yoga? Let that attention arise, feel into it. And we'll begin Dharma Mitra Sun Salutations. We take the right and then the left side to balance the um, material and the spiritual, the physical, the non-physical, the, uh, the masculine and the feminine, and the left and right sides of the body. So we inhale, reach the arms up, full extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step to your right foot back, low lunge. Hold the breath, step your left foot back. Now you exhale, you can come all the way down or to Chaturanga. Inhale, shift forward, up dog or cobra. Exhale, presses back to down dog. Three breaths here. Sending the hips nice and high, finding that high mountain peak shape. No leg lift, we step right into it. Inhale, your right foot comes forward in between your hands. Exhale, left foot meets it and we fold. With the inhale, you rise all the way up, full extension. Exhale, take the hands to the heart. And we keep going, left side, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, steps your left foot back, low lunge, retain the breath. Right foot back. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, we broaden the collar. Exhale, you press your hips back. Expanding through the joints in the body, creating length in the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders and the ankles and the knees and the hips. Activating throughout. No leg lift, inhale, left foot between your hands. Exhale, right foot meets it and we fold. Let the inhale take you all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Round two, we'll do three rounds, inhaling up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, right foot. Left foot. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Take two more easy breaths here, letting everything else fade away. And with the inhale, the right foot comes forward. Exhale, left foot, you fold. Inhale, reaches your arms to the sky. Exhale, you find your heart. Inhale, for left side, we reach up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, your left foot steps back, low lunge. Right foot and lower. Shine the heart. Down dog.
Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, salute the skies. Exhale to your heart. Final round, inhale up. Exhale, we fold. Right foot and retain. Left foot, exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Cultivate that ujjayi breath to regulate the breath. Breathing in deeply and constricting the throat or the lips to make that oceanic exhale. Inhale your right foot forward. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, full extension. Exhale to the heart. Left side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale, left foot. Right foot. Exhale, down. Inhale, broaden the collar. Exhale. Staying with the breath. Next, inhale, left foot forward. Right foot. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Very good, strong yogis. Pausing here. Regulating the breath. Finding some ease in the body. Finding your balance in the four corners of the feet. And we're going to move into this deep series now. So we can sweep the arms back behind us, bending the knees, sweeping the arms up, chair pose. Feet parallel, seeing the big toes and gazing forward. Inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Let's take a Pada Gustasana here. Wrapping your two peace fingers around your big toes. Engaging the biceps in the upper body. Relaxing the shoulders in the neck. Sway the head side to side. Back and forth. Nod the head, yes. And let's take a halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. And then ground the hands, bend the knees, step or float back, plank pose, high plank to low plank. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, down dog. <clears throat> Inhale, your right foot lifts. You guys who have done this with me before know where we're going. Today we're going to take Fallen Triangle. Or on the third one, I'll show you guys now actually if you want to check me out. You can bring the knee all the way on top of the tricep and shift forward into a side curl. So that will be the final, the final piece of this, right? So inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, take your right knee to your left elbow. Straighten it out. Spin your back heel down. Stack your shoulders. Ground the hand, inhale for three-legged dog. With the exhale, step your foot up in between the hands, lower your back knee, untuck the toes. 
Take your right arm back and around for your left thigh. Left arm reaches up high. Take two easy breaths here. And then with the exhale, frame the front foot, tuck your back toes, three-legged dog, inhale up and high. With the exhale, step it forward. Shift your weight forward to standing, raise your back knee. And then send that back heel long behind you, warrior three. Now you're gonna float your fingertips and your toes down at the same time. Let them touch the mat at the same time. Step back, high plank, low plank, vinyasa. So when we come through to the fallen triangle, I'll cue fallen triangle. But if you want to take the side crow, which is certainly more challenging, that's also an option for you as well. But I'm going to cue for fallen triangle. So inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, extension. Exhale to your nose, rounding the spine. Inhale, reach it back, strongly in. Exhale to your right elbow. Keep it there or straighten the legs. Spin your back heel down, stacking the shoulders. Gazing up at your fingertips. You are powerful. You are strong. You are vital. Ground the hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, the foot in between the hands, lower your back knee. Take your left hand around first to your right thigh. Right hand reaches high, gazing up at the sky. Take another easy breath. And then frame the front foot, tuck your back toes, three-legged dog. Exhale, steps it up to the top of the mat. You shift your weight, raise your back knee. Warrior three. Gracefully touch the fingertips and the toes down at the same time. Down dog or vinyasa, you always have the option to take a basic vinyasa with the knees down or go straight to down dog. Bend the knees, inhale, gaze forward. And with the exhale, you can engage your bundas, walk, step, or float up, halfway lift and fold. Let's sweep the arms back, take a chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands together and stand. <sighs> Let's take a powerful breath together. Just exhale fully, take a breath in, full breath. And let it go. <sighs> All right, let's go back into it. Inhale, reach up. Sit back, chair pose. Inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Halfway lift. Hands down, bend the knees, step or float. <sighs> Vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts, bend the knee, stack the hips, point your toe, check it out under your left armpit. Inhale, that knee comes up a bit higher. Exhale, step it forward, lower your back knee. This time, raise both arms up, both fingertips point towards your ceiling. Lean your hips forward, take a couple easy breaths. With an exhale, frame your front foot, three-legged dog. And then step it forward, shift your weight forward, raise that knee. This time we're going to take figure four. Ankle comes to your thigh just above the knee, hands to Anjali Mudra. <sighs> Grow your spine long, let your shoulder blades sink down the back, extending the tailbone. 
and then you can straighten your legs and fold. This is a great place for blocks. And uh, there's a fantastic arm balance here. Wendy might go for it. Wendy, Wendy's going for the arm balance. Yeah, it's so powerful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, and then we'll come back to uh, standing figure four. Raise that left knee up. And take some circles with the left knee. Big, broad circles opening up the hip. And then circle it the other direction. And then kick it back, warrior three. And we're gonna take a smooth transition to warrior two. So nice, graceful transitions. When, as that foot touches back, you're gonna spin the arms open. And let's find some stability in our warrior two, our Virabhadrasana B. Gazing with intention over those middle fingers, softening through the shoulders. Your front knee tracking in the same direction as your front middle toes. Weight evenly in the feet. Arms in a straight line, very straight line, so that you feel those energy lines from fingertips to fingertips. And then we're gonna take it down through reverse warrior. So flip your front palm, inhale it up high. And with the exhale, frame the foot, vinyasa. Let the breath guide the movement and settle into down dog. Returning to the breath, hugging the chest to the thighs, nice flat back. Let's inhale the left foot up. Bend the knees, stack the hips, point the toes, and check that toe out underneath your right armpit. Inhale the knee a bit higher. Exhale, step it up. Lower your back knee. Both hands reach up high. Lean forward. Gaze up. Let the exhale frame your front foot, three-legged dog. And then step in between the hands, shift your weight forward, raise that knee up. Figure four. In your figure four, let yourself lean forward just a bit, keeping a very straight spine, bending into that standing knee, and then stay there or straighten the leg and fold. And if you want to bring this shin on top of the triceps and wrap your toes around the elbow, shifting your weight forward, you'll find flying squirrel. And then let's lower that foot down, slowly rise back up to standing figure four. We'll raise the knee and we'll take some knee circles with that right knee. Circling both directions. And send it back for warrior three. Then we're gonna float it back to warrior two. Smooth transition, fluid, fluid, flowing. Now from warrior two, Take your arms, take your hands in front of your shins. Energetically, I want you to draw the support up from your mat through your legs, into your hips, into your core, drawing it up to your shoulders and extending that out through your fingertips, feeling the support, the energy rise up from your feet, through your abdomen and into your arms. We're gonna make our way down through reverse warrior again. So big inhale, ride the exhale all the way through your flow. And meet me in down dog. And 
And take two more easy breaths here. Hug the pads of your hands into the mat. Grip with your fingertips. Bend the knees. Inhale. Look forward. With the exhale, step or pounce. Halfway lift. And fold. Sweep the arms back. Sit the hips. Chair pose. Inhale. Exhale. Hands together. And we stand. Very good work, strong yogis. Maybe grab some water. Take a moment. And prepare. Chair pose. Find that thunderbolt shape in your chair here. And for this chair, let's raise our heels up and sit a bit deeper and really find those diagonal lines extending through the joints and the fingers, the elbows. Get those heels nice and high. Inhale. And then exhale, heels down, forward fold, straight lines to the ground. Halfway lift. Hands down, bend the knees. Take your vinyasa. <sighs> Inhale, right foot up high. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Option to take a flip. And uh, this is my favorite part. So I'm going to crab walk a little bit over here so I can see the camera. And then I invite you to join me in some flip dog high fives. Ready? Okay, I got everyone? All right, sweet. Let me crab walk back. And then with the big inhale, we're going to bring that foot around and through. Lower your back knee. Reach the arms up. Exalted low lunge. Take an easy breath. And then frame the front foot, three-legged dog. Step the right foot up, raise your back knee, standing. Take figure four for just a moment. Just sit into it and then rise back up. Kick your left leg back, warrior three. We're gonna take warrior two again, nice smooth transition. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, let's lean forward for side angle. So forearm can come to thigh. Maybe your hands come to a block or to the mat. You're welcome to take a bind here if you want to take that top arm behind your back. You can also take a half bind here where you simply put your front elbow in front of the knee, place your hand to your heart, draw that top shoulder back, tuck your front hip in, gaze up. And then let's make our way back to warrior two. Keep that front knee from going past the front ankle. We're gonna inhale, straighten the leg. Sky archer, hands come together overhead, gaze up. Exhale, bend into that knee again, low lunge, or warrior two lunge. Inhale, reaching up, sky archer. Exhale, let's do three more, fully in. And out. Inhale. And exhale, breathe again, and out. All right, this time, inhale, bring your hands together. We're gonna to come to a revolved crescent lunge. So with the exhale, spin your back heel up, twist to your right, hook your elbow across your knee. You can split the arms, option to lower the back knee, option to take the bottom hand down to the mat. If you're in the revolved crescent lunge, pressing your Palms closer to your heart, stacking the shoulders. And then we're going to open back up to warrior two. Focus on your transition here. Flipping your front palm, reach forward. Inhale, scoop it up and back. Exhale, side angle.
Inhale, Reverse Warrior. And with the exhale, take your hands inside your front foot for lizard. Heel toe that front foot towards the side of your mat. Option to lower your back knee. Maybe you bring your forearms down. You can press your front toes down and press that knee out to the side a bit as well to help open up into that hip. Take a couple more easy breaths here in Lizard. And then make your way to Plank Pose. High Plank to Low Plank. Inhale shines the heart forward. Exhale raises the hips real high. Opening up through the armpits. Let your head rest. And let's do the left side. Inhale, left foot up nice and high. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Option to take a flip. Option to uh, <laughs> digitally high five, ready? Amazing, amazing, thank you. Woo. And then <laughs> ground that hand, big powerful step up to the top. Lower the back knee, two easy breaths, exalted low lunge. Feel your power and your grace as we flow. With an exhale, frame your front foot, tuck the back toe, three-legged dog. And step it up to the top, raise your right knee standing. Sink into figure four for a moment. And then rise up out of it, kick the foot back, warrior three. Nice parallel line and smooth, graceful transition to warrior two. Keep that front knee above the front ankle. Straighten the spine, stack the hips under the shoulders. <sighs> Pressing your feet apart from each other and then drawing your feet towards each other, hugging muscle to bone, feeling into that foundation. With an exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh, hand to the mat, top bicep starts above the ear. And then you're welcome to take any bind of your choice. Perhaps you reach underneath of the thigh, behind the back, or maybe you take your front elbow inside of the front knee, hand to the heart, stacking the shoulders, Stacking the shoulders, hugging the hips in, knitting the ribs together. Breathing easy. And then we're gonna open back up to warrior two. Inhale for sky archer. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. And exhale, loud breaths, breathe again. And out, inhale, and exhale. One more, breathing in, and out. All right, inhale, sky archer, hands together up overhead. We're gonna take revolved crescent lunge with the exhale, spin your back heel up, twist to your left, hook the elbow across the knee. Pressing the palms towards the heart, stacking the shoulders. Extend long through your back heel. Feel that powerful line from your back foot through the crown of your head. Any modifications or variations are always welcome. Gracefully open up to warrior two. Flip your front palm, reach forward, inhale, scoop it up and back. 
Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale for lizard, hands inside the front foot. Heel toe that front foot out to the side a bit. Option to lower the back knee. You can spin that back heel in some circular motions, stirring the pot, working into your hip. Maybe you take the forearms down. Maybe you take one forearm down, then the other. And then, well, take one more breath here. Hanging out in Lizard for just a moment. We want to get the same amount of time on both sides. Okay, let's step back to plank pose. Inhale. Exhale to low plank. Inhale, broaden the collar. Exhale, press the hips back, nice and flat. Let's take three strong breaths together, staying there. I invite you to join me. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Sigh it out the mouth. <sighs> take another full breath in. And exhale audibly. Deepest breath yet today. Fill the lungs in three dimensions. And let it all go. <sighs> really cycling our energy with these breaths. Now inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward in yoga and in life. And with the exhale, step or float up to the top, halfway lift, long back and fold. Sweep your arms back behind you. Sit the hips back, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands together and we stand. So let's go into that one more time. If you want to grab a water or shake it out for a moment, go for it. So we'll move a bit quicker through this one. Let's stand in Tadasana, prepare. Let's take a moment to notice how our energy is cycling. Just checking in with how you feel and tune into that part of you that's fired up, that part of you that's feeling powerful, empowered, excited to move, that part of you that's vibrant and flowy. And let's bring that out. Let's brighten that up. Let's fuel that with our breath. Let's take a chair pose. So we'll go a bit faster with this round. Let's rise up on the heels. Strong lines, inhale. Exhale, heels down, fold. Halfway lift. Hands down, bend the knees, step or float. Vinyasa. Inhale, right leg lifts, you stack the hips. Exhale, step it through, lower your back knee, raise the arms. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, reach it up, bend the knees. Exhale, step it forward, raise your back knee, standing. Figure four for one breath. Raise it up, warrior three. Smooth to warrior two. With an exhale, side angle. Warrior two. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge, twisting to your right, hooking the elbow. Warrior two, keep that front hand rising, reverse warrior. 
side angle. Reverse warrior. Lizard, bringing the hands inside the front foot. And from here, maybe you hang out in lizard going a bit deeper, or maybe you take a flying lizard. So for flying lizard, we're gonna take that right leg as high up on the right arm as possible. And then you're gonna hook it, wrap it around the bicep, point it, and shift the weight forward. Option to place your head on the ground for some extra support. And then let's come back to lizard. Let's step back to plank pose. And let's add in one more thing. So shift to your left, Vashistasana, side plank on the left. You can stagger the feet or take the top foot to your inside thigh. Maybe you take Yan Mudra with your outstretched hand. Breathing nice and easy here. And then back to plank pose, down dog or vinyasa. Left side, left foot rises, stack the hips, step it on through, lower your back knee, exalted low lunge. Frame the front foot, three-legged dog. Step it up to the top, raise your back knee to stand at the top of your mat. Take a full breath in figure four. Rise up out of that, kick your foot back, warrior three. And then find warrior two. Exhale forward to side angle. Inhale, warrior two, sky archer. And then with an exhale, twist to your left, revolve crescent lunge. Warrior two, keep that front hand rising, reverse it. Side angle. Reverse warrior. Let the exhale take you to lizard. If you wanna go for that lizard arm balance on this side, go for it. You wrap the leg around the upper arm, shift your weight forward into the hands point the toes. Yeah, nice one, Lindy. Nice job, Wendy. And then step that foot to plank pose. Rock to your right side, Vashistasana. Press those hips up, find your arch. Find that strong arch shape. Feel the energy line curve from your heel to your palm. Soften the neck, let that top arm rock forward. And then plank pose, take your transition. Getting your back as flat as possible here. Let this be a resting pose. If you can soften into your knees a bit, hug your armpits down, flatten through your shoulders, make this pose more restful. And then let's bend the knees, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step, or float up to the top, halfway lift, and fold. Chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands together, and we stand. Go ahead and step your right foot back. 
Warrior two, left foot is forward. And we're gonna go right into Trikonasana, straighten your front leg, reach forward, hugging your front hip back, stacking the shoulders, expanding through both sides of the torso. Feeling your front heel press down, that energy rises to the pelvis and down into your back heel. And then we come back up to warrior two. Straighten the legs, reach the arms up, turn your front foot in so the feet are parallel. Inhale up high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, wide-legged forward fold. You can walk your hands further back behind you. If you're a safe inverter, go ahead and take yourself upside down. You can take hold of the heels, ankles, or feet to help draw yourself over. Pressing the toes down. Use the breath here. Let your breath bring you just a couple inches back up and let your exhale soften you deeper into the pose. So let your inhale bring you up slightly and let your exhale bring you back down, just rocking with the breath. And then bring your hands down to the mat Walk your hands towards your right foot. Point your right foot to the top of the mat. Frame the foot. Lower the back knee. So we're in a low lunge facing our right foot. Okay. You can uncurl the back toe. Take your right hand. We're going to reach it up and back behind us. And then reach it up. Inhale, reaching it forward. Exhale, back. Twisting, gazing back. When you do, inhale it forward. And this time, bend your back knee, catch that back foot, shift your hips forward. Maybe you take a block underneath of that front hand, drawing your, drawing your chest forward. You can let this front knee come out a bit as long as you press your toes down to help keep that tendon engaged. Enjoying the quad stretch. Take a couple more easy breaths here. And then let's release the foot. Step back to a plank pose. Take a vinyasa. From down dog. Inhale your right foot up, and then exhale, step your right foot forward, rise up into warrior two. Bringing that front knee in, reach the front arm, trikonasana. Working your torso over that front thigh, and create expansion through your joints rather than collapsing into that front knee, actively extending the spine long, pressing the tailbone back in a straight line, and then soften into it. Rise up to warrior two, straighten everything up five pointed star turn those toes back in wide-legged forward fold but uh before you fold take your hands behind you let's take a bind this time so inhale squeeze your palms together draw your shoulder blades together with an exhale fold work those hands up and back behind you Staying engaged through the fingers, keeping that lock strong. And then notice what you can soften here.
Go ahead and release your arms, your hands down to the mat. Let's walk the hands over to the right foot. Just walk your hands over to the right foot. Squeeze your hips together energetically, and then just reach towards that foot, pressing your tailbone back, squeezing your hips together, and then through center, and then walk them over to the left foot, same deal. Squeeze your hips together, flatten the back, hands stretching out towards the left foot. And then let's bend into that left foot, point the foot forward, lower the back knee, low lunge over our left leg. And then we're gonna extend our left arm, reaching it up and back. And then with the exhale, lowering it down and forward. Inhale, reaching it up and back. Exhale, forward and through. Inhale. And exhale. And this time, we'll reach it up and back, bending the back knee, taking hold of the toes or the foot. You can let your front knee rock out to the side a bit. Checking in with the body. Finding your edge, but not going past it. Open the heart, broaden the collar. Close the eyes and feel into the stretch. Very good. Let's release the back foot. Take the hands to the mat. Let's step back to a plank pose. And let's lower the knees down. Let's press the hips back for a child's pose. So I think that we've earned uh, a bit of a cool down resting restoration series. Letting the hips sink as far back to the heels as feels good for you. Softening the forehead into the mat. Take five easy breaths here. Actively feeling into your body relaxing allowing the muscles to soften and expand. And then let's shift our hips forward. Let's take Sphinx pose. So let's bring the elbows underneath of the shoulders. You can lower the belly, hug the fingers and the palms down, and gaze slightly up. Keeping some engagement in the arms, Feeling a very smooth curve down the back. Make sure that that curve is even on both sides. Breathing into it. And then let's walk our hands in. Let's press up. Bring the knees forward. Let's come to a seated pose. Let's take a staff pose here. So inhale, reach the arms up with the legs nice and long and strong. Curl your toes back. Inhale up. And exhale, hinge forward, bending your knees as much as feels good for you. So I invite you to bend the knees pretty generously and relaxing the head and neck. So keeping the back pretty straight here, especially the lower back.
Very good. Now let's rise up and place the hands behind us here. Let's come into a reverse tabletop. So pressing the hips up here, drawing the shoulders together, letting your head rock back. Option to take the legs out long too and extend through the toes. Actively bringing the chest forward, puffing the chest up. And then let's lower that down, take the back flat to the mat. Let's go into a bridge series. So press the hips right up, just press them up. Press them a bit higher, higher. And then soften the chest, lower them down, rock down the back. Take a breath here. And press down to raise the hips up, interlace the hands, option to roll over top of the arms and the shoulders. Feel the connection of your feet to your mat as your hips press up to the sky, pressing your heart to the wall behind you. For three, for two, for one, releasing the arms, soften the chest, roll down the back, take the knees from side to side, windshield wipers. And then point the knees straight up, rise back up into bridge or take a wheel. Or if you wanna rise up into shoulder stand now, Go ahead, if you want to take a bridge or a wheel and then meet the rest of us in shoulder stand, go ahead. Hang out in your inversion for as long as you'd like. <clears throat> Option to come to a shoulder stand or to place a block underneath of the sacrum. Just take the legs straight up like so. Reversing the uh, effect of gravity on our blood flow. So. In shoulder stand, we want to direct the weight into our elbows from the shoulders, extending long through the toes, noticing when you start to feel some pressure in the neck, and that's how you know that you've reached the edge. Take five more easy breaths here. Feeling some lightness in the extremities. Notice the rhythm of your heart here. Notice the sensation in the shoulders and the neck and the head with increased blood flow in those areas. And then if you want to take your feet behind you for a plow pose, go for it. Um, I've got a screen behind me, but if you can safely bring your toes down, go for it. Otherwise, bring the knees alongside the ears. For deaf man's pose. And then we're going to gently roll out vertebrae by vertebrae. So you can use your arms to help you here. As vertebrae by vertebrae, we unstack and relax. Yeah, take the legs out long. We'll take Matsuyashina, fish pose. So take the hands underneath of the seat, tucking your elbows in. Press your solar plexus up and back, rocking the head back. Perhaps the top of the head touches down as you point through the toes, press the hips down. And 
nice and active in your fish pose. And then soften, lower it down, bringing the knees into the chest. Let's actually place our hands on top of our knees. Let the knees be stacked directly above the hips. And then take your knees in some gentle circles, circling out and then back in, out and then back in, and then switch in directions. And now take the knees together and we'll take supine twists. Let your knees rock over to your right side. Shoulders down, arms out and into your cactus. You can take one leg over top of the other or take a block in between the thighs to help get your shoulders down. Staying with the breath, we use the movements and the postures to stay healthy, yes, to stay strong, sure, for flexibility, definitely. We use the postures to more deeply connect with our body, with this vehicle. And so breathing in deeply, feeling the contours of your lungs in this position. Exhaling smoothly, relaxing deeper. And then take one more breath cycle and bring your knees into your chest, lift the sacrum off for a moment, roll it back down, knees at the center, now rock your knees off to your left, gaze to your right, you can cross one leg over the other or use a block again. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you, feeling the hug of gravity above you. And feel the life of the breath within you. Let your inhale be full and deep. Ujjayi, exhale long and smooth. And take three more breath cycles here. And then bringing the knees into the chest again. Let's take a quick happy baby, holding the soles of the feet. <clears throat> you can sway from side to side and rocking back and forth. And then when you're ready, take your knees into your chest. Gently tuck the tailbone, raise your forehead, inhale. Exhale, open up, finding your Shavasana. 
taking any moves, rocks, sways, finding yourself in that center point between the left and right hemispheres of the body, and then soften into stillness. Staying relaxed, continuing to breathe, And as you breathe, draw your attention to the expansion and contraction, noticing the rise and fall of the belly, chest, and shoulders. And we're going to do a chakra energy balancing exercise. So draw your attention to your root chakra at your tailbone Drawing the energy there, bringing the energy of the earth, the energy of the ground, rootedness, stability. Feel that energy growing into a warm ball, expanding, expanding, larger and larger. And it overflows into your sacral chakra, rising up. This is the guts. This is the intestines. In between the belly button and the tailbone, feel this area glowing orange and expanding, radiating brighter and brighter, building up energy, and then overflowing up into the solar plexus, yellow ball of energy growing here. This is your seat of personal power, the base of the breath, breathing into that, feeling it grow larger and larger. And as you expand, it rises, it overflows up into the heart space, feeling the chest bright, beautiful, radiant green light expanding, glowing larger and larger in the chest. This energy rises up, expands, overflows into the throat chakra, luminous blue orb in the throat gl glowing and growing larger and larger as that energy overflows into the head rising up into the third eye feel that pressure delightfully build purple violet hues growing larger and larger expanding overflowing to the crown of your head a golden point at the highest point of your head the combination of all energies, bright, golden, radiant, pure white light, expanding, expanding, growing into this huge ball of energy, overflowing up and outwards. Let it go. Let it flow. Releasing whatever does not serve you out and up. And whatever does serve you, whatever energies are meant for you, will cycle and circle back around and back in, into the body. With every breath, you can draw energy up, letting go what does not serve you, and cycling back the energy that is meant for you. And bringing your attention back to the breath, wiggling the fingers and the toes as you breathe deeper. Rolling the wrists and the arms, the ankles and the legs. Taking the arms up above you, reaching up and back, full body stretch, extending through the toes. Maybe you take a morning yawn. <sighs> and then bring the knees into the chest. <laughs> Gently wrapping the arms around the shins and receive this appreciation, this heartfelt gratitude from yourself from your body for returning to the yoga mat, your yoga practice once again.
And then you can rock over to one side, resting an ear on an arm. <clears throat> and making your way up to a seated position, drawing the shoulders back. Sit tall and easy. Let's take three cleansing breaths in an ohm to close, breathing in and let it go. Take a deeper breath. Exhale audibly. Take the deepest breath yet today. Let it all go with the sigh. And inhale, I invite you to join me for ohm, O, oh, ah, uh, mm. Oh. Bringing the hands to the heart. The movement, the breath, and the light in me sees the movement, the breath, and the light. And you all, thank you so much for flowing with me. I truly love you guys. Thank you so much for showing up for this practice, for myself, for up, for yourselves, for yoga. Um, really enjoyed leading this practice with you guys. <laughs>